Hello everyone, I am Neoxenok, and this is my let's play of Resident Evil Zero. So, it's uh, been a little while since I actually played this game. I uh, kind of stopped this in Shadowrun for a little bit to uh, try to give a big push to uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So, anyway, but here we are. Uh, Resident Evil zeroing it away. So, especially now that I've, uh, built up plenty... Let's we'll see if we can get past these. I hope there's more ammunition here soon. Right, so. Uh, I also decided to read up a little bit as far as strategy goes and see what if, uh, I, I remember the, in the last episode, I believe I had made it to this point, but I don't think I made any progress because I think I died here or nearby or something. Ah, I keep pressing the Y button. How many hours do I have to do this before I learn to stop doing that? How are you doing? You might need some ammunition before too long. So yeah, this is the chess room. My computer still has such problems rendering this game. You know, the funny thing is, is that I uh, got some of my emulators up and running, including my PS2 emulator. And... Uh, wonderful. And those have absolutely no problem running on my PC. I mean, it's absolutely... It runs just as smoothly as any of the other games that I play. So I don't really expect my uh, my non-gaming computer to do much better than probably PlayStation 2. I'm honestly kind of amazed that it did PlayStation 2 at all. Interesting. So I'm guessing I have to make the uh, big chessboard exactly like the little one. So... I'm sorry, I need to see that again. Anyway, what was I saying? Right. Because uh, my that does appear to be exactly what I see up there. <sighs> so I suppose I could try a couple of different things or something like that. slow they are so yeah I also I also found that that the there's a, a fan or a group of fans that are working to make an updated resident uh, not resident but Tomb Raider 2 and terribly thrilled about that I mean I love it problem is is that this poor I uploaded the uh, the demo onto my PC so I have it and it runs like the uh, first level of it Unfortunately, the frame rate was so awful, like far worse than even this. If 
Fantastic. Okay, so that's a no-go. I imagine that we yeah, we're all poisoned. You know what, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna go to the front of the screen and then just go back to my save. Resident Evil Zero. So it doesn't tell me how to so my strategy guide that I have here that I'm using doesn't tell me it just gives me very broad directions as to where I need to go next which is frankly always been a problem with me in video games in general especially with the more open-ended Resident Evil because I could sometimes spend far too long just trying to piece things together I guess I'm I suppose I'm just that slow sometimes but to be fair it is my first time through the game and I am dealing with the uh, software that just, uh, I mean, my PC just can't really, this is just barely handling this game as it is. You stay here. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, Let's you come. Let's go! Okay. Alright. Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, wait, I didn't go outside yet. I like at least the ability to see where it's, what's where. some point in time, I'll have to go back and refill the uh, grenade launcher, which I believe is still emptied out. I like the fact that he can stand in my way and I won't actually... Fantastic, there's another one. Fantastic. Fantastic. Alright. Gun ammo, always good. Yeah. As soon as I uh, get a better PC and or laptop in order to handle the higher end games, it's because I've been wondering, after having the problems I've had with Resident Evil Zero, I, I do also have the Resident Evil 1 remake uh, for Steam, but at this point I'm just kind of wondering if it's even worth getting. I mean, worth playing. I mean, I have it, obviously, but I mean, I, I do also have like several versions of the original Resident Evil for the PlayStation. Uh, I, for my emulator, I even uploaded... Uh, the last ver the latest version of that game for the PlayStation and of course I I found and uploaded a PC version of the game which may help uh, update it enough to get it running smoothly but not enough to you know cause these sorts of problems so what am I not figuring out here because this and the other one look just exactly the same. If I move any of them, it activates a gas trap. You know 
what? Maybe I should get Billy out of here for a moment. I'll go alone. Roger. Yeah, you stay there and you solve that problem. This way, only one of us. Uh... Actually, you know what? I'll have him go outside because I think I remember that there was. Uh... some blue herbs out there, if I recall correctly. So, anyways, I was saying, I, uh, I did also upload Resident Evil 2 uh, DualShock version for the PlayStation. I'd like to get the PC version of the game, but the only one I saw was like $80 from Amazon.com. And I don't know if, uh, I frankly don't honestly know if that would be worth getting or not. I mean, compared to just using the emulator I already have, or even the, uh, because the emulated version that I have isn't really all that much better than the one I actually own. Because I own, I think, the one of the versions for... PlayStation, one of the original ones. The DualShock one has like an arranged mode and like a harder mode, I think, of the game. And I might just end up using that. Uh, there's not really much out here. Uh, aside from a puzzle, I'm certain I'll have, I'll have to solve later. built despite its age it shows no signs of decay all right maybe there's just nothing out here I certainly don't see anything wait Uh huh. So is there some way to push that off or something? There's something there, but you can't see it from here. Hmm. So I probably have to get somewhere and then see it. Maybe there's a way to climb up there? Or maybe it might be something I could use the hook shot for. Uh, it's worth a shot. But anyway, before I do too much, I should solve this puzzle, because this is what will kill me in short order. So I'm guessing I have to get this one right behind the rook here. No. Yeah. No, you're pushing the wrong one, Rebecca. See this one? There you Yes. Okay. It looked like she was about ready to push the... Fantastic. One I can move that won't immediately kill me. This is what happens when I overcomplicate. Damn it. Hit collection. Uh, hit collision. What even is that? Or collision detection is what I, the words I was looking for. I think I could speak English, but then you'd be wrong. Oop. 
build a desk that had the chessboard infused into it. Book of Evil. Why, yes, I do want that book. Marcus's Diary. December 4th. We finally did it. The new virus. We have called it the progenitor. We wanted to carry it. I want to carry it back and start detailed investigations immediately. March 23rd. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care as long as I can t continue my research on, into progenitor. He can do what he likes. August 19th. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the bit of the business, but he's becoming intolerably pushy. But maybe I can turn this into my advantage. I need a special facility to properly explore all the virus's secrets. A place where no one will get in the way. November 30th. Damn it, Spencer. He's come to complain to me again today. He thinks of progenitor as nothing more than a money-spinning tool. The fool. But if his influence continues to grow, it can only be bad for my research. If I'm to properly develop progenitor, I must strengthen my own position too. September 19th. At last. I discovered a way to build a new virus type of progenitor as the base. Mixing it with leech DNA was the breakthrough I needed. I call this new virus T for tyrant. October 23rd. I can't hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. Only humans can be a proper mammalian subject for the experiments, otherwise I'll never make any real progress. Funnily enough, I don't think rats, I mean, was rats in the original Resident Evil? I don't think it ever was. Uh, there's always some kind of small bug or something. I don't think ra uh, there was ever any mutant rats or anything like that. November 15th. Someone seems to suspect something about my experiments, but perhaps it's just my imagination. Well, if anyone g does get too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. January 13th. At last, they are ready. My wonderful leeches. Those of low intelligence, they will never understand the privilege of tasting this sense of joy and satisfaction. Now, finally, I can move against Spencer. Soon, I will control everything. January 31st. The devices I sent to pro protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for tea and the leeches. The fool. No doubt the work of Spencer's group. February 11th. Today I again found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. If that is what they're after, I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke out the pests. These two are the only ones I trust, apart from my beloved leeches, of course. But Spencer, it wouldn't end there, would it? I will not pronounce T at the next director's meeting and collect my just rewards. Alright. No. Bad Rebecca. Keep expecting something to jump out at some point in time. Anyway, let's look at the Book of Evil. Elegantly bound book entitled Evil. Seems unusually heavy for a book of this. Th of course, there's something inside it. Yes. Aha, there is something inside. Do tension. Yeah, black wing. <sighs> it looks like one of a pair. All right. Let's uh See what Marcus is up to. And we can continue this next time. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Take care and see you later.